Hello, my name is Steve. Many of you guys know me from being active in the hobby community, as well as for my push button setup. What's cool about this push button setup is it gives people on foot an opportunity to be able to see your show without having to be in a vehicle. Uh, FM transmitter is awesome for people that are in a vehicle, um, but if someone's walking by on foot, then you need to give them an opportunity to be able to play the music and, and hear your show as well. So, and also it makes it so that way it's not gonna annoy your neighbors by just playing music all night long in your yard. So this thing is pretty cool for that reason. Um, what happens is you just push this red button and when you do that, it takes the audio that's already being played through your FM transmitter and it splits it off to this setup. So it's the exact same audio as that FM transmitter, it just splits it. So it works simultaneously with your FM transmitter and it works independently as well. So you don't have to worry about it affecting anything on your show. You don't have to worry about it affecting anything in your lights. It just gives another option for people to hear your music that are on foot or not in a vehicle. Let's dig a little deeper into how it works. With my push button setup, I include all the components to get you up and running. Each kit is gonna include the Christmas sign by default. You can also add the Halloween sign to your purchase if you do a Halloween show or plan to do one in the future. These signs are made of durable metal and will last you many years to come. I pre-drilled holes in the signs to mount them to your post, as well as a hole for the LED push button to mount to the sign. I developed a system so the signs are easy to change out between holidays. With this setup, I also include a bag of mounting hardware. The mounting hardware is going to include four components. These two are going to be the wing nuts and the bolts if you do both signs. And then these two screws are going to be to mount your uh, enclosure to your actual post. Hooking the setup to your audio source is very easy with the items I include. You'll receive a 3.5 millimeter audio splitter and a 50 foot 3.5 millimeter audio cable. The splitter will likely be used if you're using an FM transmitter in your show. If you're not using an FM transmitter, you may not need the audio splitter, but I include it anyways. The audio splitter will be used to take the main audio from your source. That will be coming from your main audio right here, whether it be a computer or a Pi or some other device. And you're going to split it. One's going to go to your FM transmitter and one's going to go to this push button setup. The use for the splitter is so that way there's not gonna be any delay in the audio from people that are gonna be on foot with this push button setup or people that are gonna be in their vehicle with the FM transmitter. You're able to extend the cable as far as you need to, but based on my experience, um, I find if it's any more than 200 feet, there may be some audio delay. The red LED push button has been upgraded to be water resistant now. And it will come assembled as such and include enough wire for you to run the button up to your post. Instruction sheet will be included with each kit that explains how to attach the push button to your sign. I currently offer two types of methods to power the push button setup. If you have a 12 volt display, you can choose the X-Connect option so you can power the push button through your power distribution. If you do not have 12 volt or you don't want to power it through your show's power, you could power it through the AC adapter option upgrade that is available. The AC adapter, of course, will plug directly into a household outlet or extension cord to power the setup. If you choose an X-Connect option, you will have a pigtail coming out the bottom of the enclosure to plug directly into your power distribution. I've designed a system to be as user-friendly as possible and set you up for success for many years to come. Now, now we got power to our system, I'll explain a little bit about how it works. Passerbys will press the red LED button that will activate your relay to activate the amplifier. When it happens, the audio will emit from your speakers. The relay will allow the audio to play for however long you set the countdown timer for on the relay. Changing the time on the relay is very easy with the instructions I made. With the relay setting of P1.2, if the timer is currently counting down, but the button is pressed again, the timer will reset to the beginning of the countdown without interrupting the audio. So as we can see here, it starts at 10 seconds and counts down. If I press the button again, it'll reset back to 10 seconds. This is great if your audience wants to extend the timer before it runs out. 
Mounting the enclosure to your post is very easy. I have included two screws, which are designated for this purpose. There is a pre-drilled hole in the top and the bottom of the enclosure. These are designed for you to use the screws to mount the enclosure to your setup. One of the newest improvements I made on my push button setup is the override switch, which is on the bottom of the enclosure. This override switch is awesome because what it does is it overrides the relay and allows the amplifier to run as long as the switch is on. This is awesome for days such as Halloween night or Christmas night where you want the actual system to run throughout the night or until a certain time without anyone needing to press the button. As you can see right now, the amplifier is not on because the green light's not on. However, when we hit the switch, the amplifier turns on, regardless if the relay is counting down. Thank you so much for your interest in my push button setup. Please reach out to the vendor for additional support or specific questions.